down here to uh, Southern Loggers to uh, get this uh, get this load unloaded. We're gonna do a normal pump off, but I wanted to show y'all, you know, kind of an update video on pumping off and how we do it, how we do a pump off, uh, unloading fuel, gas, oil, whatever. It's a normal thing for us to do. 99% of the time that I unload somewhere, I'm pumping it off. So we're gonna give y'all a video of a simple pump off here at Southern Loggers <coughs> in Urania, Louisiana. You see we got the big old mill right here. Southern Loggers is gonna be up here on our right side. windows up because it can get pretty dusty at this place here it's a brand new uh brand new facility uh probably a month month and a half or so uh done and all that stuff so we'll just basically pull in our driveway swing around the back side of the parking lot here and just pull straight up beside the tanks here but i'm gonna pull up and kind of cut it to the left just a little bit to kind of keep my trailer actually right there where it's at it's pretty good so we're just gonna park like that a little bit we got our paperwork right here what we got uh my 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 way to turn the pump on is right here in my sleeper door so I'll, i automatically go ahead and open up my sleeper door and then i come down here with my bare hands and grab my gloves and stuff i'm very picky about touching the trailer with my gloves on i don't want stuff to get all dirty yes the truck and trailer is filthy right now because it's been raining and stuff but i like to grab my bar right here without my gloves on open it up and then i throw my gloves on and i'll start getting my caps off i loaded every compartment with diesel that way the trailer can be flushed out just in case I may go get a preload of oil tomorrow. So we'll pull all the caps off, open the trailer up, bare hands on my door, on my, my uh, buttons in here, pulling my valves out. You got air valves, you got your master here that opens up all the vents and stuff. And then all your belly valves here, and pull them open. Next thing I do is I pull my bucket out, go ahead and put it down. I'll go ahead and walk down the side of the trailer pulling the uh straps right here off for the hoses go ahead and get this unlocked we don't have no diet we got a straight up load of clear diesel right here so from here i'll grab my big three inch suction hose i'll go ahead and walk it down and walk it off the trailer and I go ahead and hook it up to the trailer. I'm going to tell y'all right now, this is the way I do it. This may not be the way you do it. This is the way I do it. Go ahead and take my cap off of here. All right. Uh, when I had that blowout the other day, it uh, took my cable off of there. So now my cap don't, don't just hang. Bella? Bella, come. Sorry about that. I was trying to holler at Bella to get her back over here. I go ahead and strap it all up and stuff like that. And then I'll walk back here. And I'm going to get my short hose right here. I'll walk it off the trailer. Go ahead and get it hooked up. But let me grab my other bucket. 
before you pull a cap or anything like that off of the the truck you need to have a bucket up underneath it like when you hook your hose up like right here we need to have our bucket up underneath it open it up just to catch any drippings i like to put my ears up there on the catwalk because they don't go anywhere up there we'll get it all hooked up over here we're going to need a three inch male male with a three inch female to two inch female so we got our three inch female to two inch female and then we got come on now we got a three inch male male we're gonna put these right here together like that and then we're gonna go put this on the tank like so and get our two inch discharge hose hook it up make sure your valves is open every time make sure your valves is open and before we open move bella before we open anything we need to take and put us some clips on all of our ears uh, grab too many blue ones got everything clipped up got it clipped up this one's got a strap on it and i don't never put a clip on this one because i'm always moving that one and i always stand back here by my valves while i'm unloading so now we know we got everything going everything's hooked up belly valves are open it's strapped up clipped up clipped up the valve right here is open it's straight in a line so it's ready to go we uh do not have a gauge on this tank right here so it should all fit though because they don't never we we know we can see on by a computer how much is in the tank so we'll open it up our belly valves are open it's all open ready to go we'll come up here flip a switch the pump's on, you can hear it sucking fuel, but always, always, always walk back here to the trailer and see your vent right here. Put your hand on that vent, make sure it's venting. You can see by the, the uh, sight glass right there that it's actually unloading. You can see the product flowing through, but you always want to put your hand on that vent right there to make sure that you can feel it venting. And that's how we started off right there. So while you sit here and wait for your uh, for your first compartment to get unloaded, I usually get my phone out and I'll start doing paperwork and stuff like that. And I always, on every Fuel Master load that we have, that we do, we always have PO numbers. So I get on my phone on my dispatch and I'll find my PO number, which is 3092-761-018. Now, I use my phone for everything. We use a, a app called Vector that we uh, do all of our paperwork on and stuff like that. And uh, every company's probably different on their paperwork and stuff, but we use Vector. And I do it on my phone because it's so much easier to do it on my phone than the big old tablet that we got in the truck. The tablet's just too big for me to try to try to mess around with. I can do it a whole lot faster on my phone, but. While you're unloading and stuff like that, you need to really be paying attention. Continue watching uh, product flow. Continue making sure that your ears are closed. Always, always, always make sure and check for leaks and stuff like that. And if you do have a leak, 
you need to fix the problem it could be an o-ring it could be an ear or something like that maybe you need to put a shim in there to uh to stop the leak but i know my equipment we keep the same trailer same hoses same everything i know my equipment and i know my equipment doesn't leak that's a good thing about working for a company and having your own trailer and stuff like that is is you know your equipment and you never have to worry about your equipment failing unless you already know that it's getting bad or something like that that you change and fix the problems if you change and fix the problems you will never have a problem while we usually sit here and unloading and stuff like that we're usually sitting here watching our product flow and that's very very important you need to be paying attention to what you're doing don't be playing on the phone don't go sit in the truck and go to sleep don't go get your lounge chair and put it back here by your back duels you need to stay in the area where you can shut something off in a quick and fast hurry just in case you was to have a spill reach over here and slap that arm closed run up to the front turn the pump off and that'll minimize the amount of product that you may over that may come out of the tank but if you're sitting back here in a lounge chair with your feet kicked up because you're lazy and you don't you know it takes time to jump out of that chair to run over here to close this off and then run up there to turn it off by the time you that would have happened then you would have made one heck of a mess stay by your loading heads that way you can easily shut stuff off and turn the pump off it's that simple don't be lazy and sit in the truck go to sleep stuff like that you need to be ready at all times to deal with a problem if it arises all right this first compartment right here just got done we always let it drain down a little bit you're not ever going to get a hundred percent of stuff out of this trailer because you got baffles in there that some of the fuel is behind and stuff like that you're just not going to get a hundred percent out of this trailer right here I always close my valve first, open up my ears and pull it off. It's that simple. And then I'll go to my next biggest compartment here. This compartment right here had 2000 gallons in it. Don't ever take your hose off of there without a bucket up underneath it. As you can tell, it's dripping. You don't want that drippage to get on the ground. I always go to my big compartments first and then I'll come back to the back and work my way forward reason why i do that is, is because if say if say it didn't all fit say this 1700 gallons right here didn't fit then at least i'd still have some weight on the truck and it wouldn't be that bad of a ride going to wherever else i had to bring it to if you unload from the front to the back and all your weights back here on the trailer your truck's going to be bouncing around it's going it's going to be a rough ride another thing to go along with uh your compartments and stuff like that usually it's a rule of thumb of about five minutes per 1000 gallons of, of product the pumps they usually pump somewhere around 200 230 gallons a minute somewhere around there but like this 2750 right here that's 15 minutes you got 2000 gallons that'd be about 10 minutes and then your small compartments would be about five minutes a piece so if you got 15 plus 10 that's 25 35 uh, 30 35 40 minutes so it's roughly around 45 minutes to an hour to get from the time you pull up you get unloaded you know you get out hook everything up get unloaded put everything up get back in the truck and leave it's roughly 45 minutes to an hour it is not really that bad <laughs> And as what I was just saying, you need to know your trailer in and out. You need to know your trailer. I'm talking about like the back of your hand. And while I was standing on the other side over there talking to y'all just a while ago, I noticed that right there. That's pretty dirty, ain't it? This, uh, that bushing right there that, that holds all that stuff together, that, that seal, that thing is leaking or it's starting to. That's the reason why you see all the junk on it. But you don't see no junk on this one right here. See how clean that one is? This one right here is doing bad. It needs to be changed. So when I say you need to know your truck in and out, 
that, that's what I'm talking about right there. You need to, you need to be able to notice things uh, at a glance and see something. I was standing about right, <clears throat> I was standing about right here, and I looked over, and I could see right in between the tray and the frame there. I can see that that piece right there, and I, I noticed it was all dirty. So I decided to walk around there and check it out, and that's what you see. You need to know your equipment. I'm talking about perfectly. That's why it's so important. Like you get these jobs at these bigger carriers where you just drop and hook trailers. You never know what the situation of the trailer is going to be when you hook onto it. You may know your truck because you're in it all the time, but the trailer, you never know the situation it's going to be in. And that's why I love working for a company where you have your own trailer because you can, like I said, you go through your trailer, you know your trailer like the back of your hand, and it never fails that a person with their own equipment is going to make better time, they're going to make better money, they're going to make better uh, decisions and stuff like that because they know their equipment. All righty, she's finishing up on that front hole right now. Like I said, we'll let it drain down just like last time. We'll let it drain down just a little bit. Open up the bottom. I always open up my bottom uh, ear first. Close it down, open up the top, and pull it right off. Move it to the next compartment. Close them down, slap them closed, open it up. She's a rolling. Take and grab our cap, put it back on there. Move our bucket to the next one. Same thing, over and over and over. Once you get a routine, once you get your routine, my routine, uh, the next Joe Blow's routine, the next Joe Blow's routine is not gonna be your routine. The way I was taught to do this stuff is not how I do it now. Because as I got more uh, experience with doing it, I figured out my own routine to where I can be a little bit more efficient, a little bit more efficient each time. I was telling somebody the other day, it's just like my trailer right here. I have all my pump off stuff on the front, which is my long hose, this hose right here, my short two inch line, and then I got a long two inch line right there. That's all my pump off stuff. That's what I use for pumping off. My gas stuff is on the back. You can see I don't have that little short hose anymore. I threw that thing away. But I have three, three inch, about 20 feet long hoses, 23 feet, 25 feet, something like that. I think they're 20s. Uh, that's what I use for my gas. And I'm very particular how I want my stuff, like this right here. This end of the, this end of the uh, hose where you have the plug, it's called the plug in. That end down there is the cap in. This right here is a plug. It goes in the end of the hose. This right here is called a cap with the ears on it. But I like my stuff to be where my plug in for my gas on this end of the trailer is toward the middle of the trailer. That way when I pull it off and it hits the ground, I can drag it over here and hook it straight up to the trailer. Boom, straight up. And then just walk to the other end, grab my cap in and drag it around to wherever my drop is in the ground. And then the same way with my pump off stuff. As you can see that my suck, my discharge hose here, my two inch, the cap in is down here. The plug in is down here. The reason why that is, is because when I pull it off the trailer, I can hook it straight up to my pump and then drag the other end to wherever it's going, to wherever it's going. But if you look on my big three inch hoses, my cap in is on this end and my plug in is on that end. And that's for when I walk it off the trailer and I get down here to where my plug in is, I can throw it straight on the trailer just like that. And then my, my cap in will go on that, that side right there. Like I said, you will have your own way of doing things because the better that you have things laid out and the more efficient you can be, you will make more money in the long run. Whether it be more loads for the day that you can knock out because you still got time on the clock, whether that be if you only had two loads for that day, but you were so efficient that you got home in six hours, 
it only took you six hours to do them loads and then the loads paid and then in that six hours what you made off them two loads i mean it all works on how you want to work if you want to get out here and be efficient and make the most money you can you will find different ways to be able to set your stuff up to where you can be more efficient at what you're doing but let me say this you want to be efficient but you also want to have safety in mind you want to have a clear head on what you're doing because once you open that valve right there and you start unloading something in the wrong tank you can't change that and by the time you open that valve right there and walk over there and do something over there or come back over here and then you realize what's going on you done messed up so you need to be efficient but you also need to be paying attention to what you're doing and just like that that one right there is done no time didn't take a hold of no time at all for that compartment just had a thousand gallons in it this next compartment right here it's got a thousand gallons in it, it ain't gonna take it five minutes to get done and then we'll be we'll be moving on to our last 750 gallons right there and there's that one right there finish it up right now it's that quick on these smaller compartments some bigger compartments seem like it takes forever but these smaller compartments is pretty quick do the same thing every time close the valve off pull it off slap it on the last one close my ears down hit it open her up just to make sure them ears are still locked down closed and everything like that move the bucket over this one right here shouldn't take but about three minutes at the most three and a half all right there it is it's finishing up right now we're gonna let that sit there and drain for just a second it ain't gonna take long for that compartment to have. I always start walking my hose out pick it up above my head just hold it there for a minute or two just let it let it drain and then I always walk back here I go ahead and unhook it off the trailer my ear got stuck on the other one I unhook it off the trailer just pull it back set it up like that right there and then I'll go ahead and put my cap on here this is all while the pump is still running don't turn the pump off until you walk your hoses out i'll go ahead and work on getting this right here unhooked make sure my bucket stays up underneath it and i'll go ahead and get this hose right here closed up and get it put on the trailer take this hose right here I'll go ahead and walk it out it's done turn my pump off close my valve go ahead and take my cap uh, my clamps off go put that stuff up then I'll take and get my plug, put back on my, my discharge, I mean my suction here. I'll go ahead and get this bucket right here put up. Close my internal valves. Close my vent line, pull my glove off. Close my trailer down or put my bar down. And then I'll take and come over here I'll open up my big one first that way that what's coming out won't go on the ground and I'll hold it up take my fitting off just make sure all this stuff is closed back up the way I found it I walk this hose right here down just drop it Go ahead and put my fittings back in my trailer. I'll just stick them, stick them right there for right now. Close my doors and stuff back up. Get this fence right here closed up. You want to you want to make the location just like you found it. You don't want to leave stuff unlocked and all that. You want to make it just like you found it. 
take my glove off. Change the number there, lock it all back up. My cap on there. Walk it back on the trailer. Uh oh. Strap everything back up. on this end of it. Put my, put my pins back in the ears right here. We put these pins in there to keep them ears closed. I don't want them to open up going down the road. And then we'll put this bucket right here up. Throw our gloves in there. And boom. That's the pump off right there. It actually showed on my logbook getting here at 12.50 and it's 1.52 right now so we've been here for an hour and that wasn't too bad. That, my friends, is how you do a pump off. Like I said, I may not be perfect but every single body's got their own way of doing things. That is my way of doing it. That is how I don't mess up. That is how I don't make messes and stuff like that. If you found this video any kind of helpful Y'all give this thing a thumbs up. Y'all subscribe down there to the channel. Uh, yeah, that's about all I can say for it. I do hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all did, y'all go ahead and smash that like button. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.